Today we're going to do a quick tour of the university so you can see some of the buildings where things are located. I'm doing it by bike so the camera's going to be a little bit shaky. Don't mind it. So first off you have the entrance to the university right here. One of the main roads goes over this way. If you go back down this way, you end up at Robheim and head towards the city. The first university, the first tram stop is right over there, university. So, now we're heading into the main entrance. Over here to the right, and here to the left are some green areas. Uh, during the summer and the warmer months, which are actually pretty short in length, you can come out here, relax in between classes, take a nap, read, study, it doesn't matter. Um, right here is one of the notice boards. It's around campus. You can find posters for uh, whatever it is you might be interested in, parties, events, uh, lectures, anything. This is more of the green space. In front of me is the library, it's called the Bibliothek in uh, German. Uh, this is the main library. There are two or three libraries here on campus, including a social sciences library and a law library. Um, this is the biggest one. This is where you can print things off, check the computer, um, check your email. Right over here is the building known as the Mensa. This is the cafeteria for campus. Um, if you're hungry during lunch, they're open from 11 till 2 most days. Uh, really cheap, decent food. Uh, and in the bottom is a bar called is the student bar Louis, uh, where you will do most of your parties at. And there's also a place there called the Mensa Keller, the Mensa Cellar, where all the Mensa Fests, which are these giant parties, you'll see what they are when you get here, are held. So there's that. Over this direction, if you continue straight ahead, uh, you get to um, Keplerheim which is one of the newest dorms. Um, a few of you will probably be staying there. Not sure how many. If you continue over here, you can go down this path right here and see the mechatronics buildings directly in front of me. You can go underneath that over that uh, underpass. Those are the mechatronics buildings. If you have a computer-related class or several of the science-related ones or business, you will probably be in the mechatronics buildings. And as you can see, we've been gifted with a wonderfully sunny day here in Austria, which are incredibly rare. The past two weeks have been really cold. It was about 15 degrees Celsius uh, a couple of days ago. So, back over this way, heading back towards the library. More green space. And this building right here is the uh, Kepler Gebalde, which is Kepler building. Um, one of the main banks on campus is right in front of me, the Sparkasse. There are three to choose from here. There's the I-5 and Sparkasse and Bank Austria. Uh, when you get here, your mentors will help you set up a place. Pick which one you want. Um, several classes are held inside this building. There are several of the large lecture halls. And this building in front of me is um, connected to the Catholic about it. You'll have several classes there. Um, everything from social sciences to business classes are held in there. Hey. So if we continue on, directly in front of me is the Uni Pond, or um, known as the Uni Lock, which would be the university swamp because of the beautiful green water in it. I wouldn't recommend getting in there unless you want to grow another arm. Uh, this is the front of the Kepler building. I said a lot of classes in there. Um, on this, through this entranceway right here, you'll find the refi office. Um, so if you ever need anything, you can stop by there, talk to them. This is also a really good place to come and chill out during, uh, during the school day if you need a break. in front of me is the um, the law building. If you have any kind of law classes, it'll be in here. Also, the law library is located inside, which is one of the better ones on campus. And then back this way, straight ahead of me, is the T 
TNF tower. Uh, it's the technical and naturwissenschaft, so technical and natural sciences, physics, that kind of thing, are held there. Uh, this building right here on my right is the physics Gebäude. So if you have physics classes, that's where a lot of them are going to be held. Some of the labs are there. Right here is another one of those banks I talked about, Eiffeisen. And then right here is the bank Gebäude, it's called, bank building. Uh, if you go straight in through this door and hang a left and go up the stairs to the second floor, um, you will get to the international office. Very useful. Um, and just the floor above where the international office is, you can find the um, find the cash place where you can get your stipend for Erasmus or for ISEP, depending on which one you're part of. The little hut right there is from the student bar on campus, Louis. Um, during the normal school year, we're out right now. Um, there are benches set up outside. You can go, drink, um, sometimes have a little bit of food, um, just whatever you want. Right here is another one of the physics buildings. Can't tell you exactly what it is, but you might have classes there, maybe, possibly. This is the bookstore on campus, Talia. You can find a lot of your books here. There's another large Talia down on the Landstrasse, which is the main street in Linz. Connects with the Hauptplatz. You'll find out where that is. But they have decent prices here on pretty much everything you need. Textbooks are pretty cheap here. And then for the last building around here, this is the management center. Um, you're going to have several classes here. Um, if you're a business or economics student, you're going to have a ton here. This is where you spend most of your day. Foreign language department usually meets here. Um, and several other classes. Uh, here's the field. Some modern art out there. It's not very good, but it's modern art. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for the university.